Welcome to Outlaw Woodworking. Work hard, get dough. I can't get no sleep, which make my life more simple. But I wouldn't trade a thing for what I have. I go hard, do what I need to make it last. They say the good die young, I hope I'm bad. Cheers to my past. Today it's all about toys for Christmas and I'm going to show you how to easily make custom wheels for your wood toys and I'll also show you how to how I um, cut out this little car super simple I actually made all 10 of these cars wheels and body in probably about five hours yesterday and but we're gonna make we're gonna design a new set of wheels and um, then at the end of the at the end of the video we'll vote and see which which wheel we like better Anyway, um, yeah, let's get into the, we're going to go into the Aspire software and we'll design a new set of wheels and I'll show you how to do it. Super simple. And yeah, let's get started. Okay, here we are in the Aspire software. We are going to create a new file. Those dimensions are correct. We're going to use some 1x6 material. We're going to do standard fastest. We'll go ahead and we're going to do the zero position at the top left corner of the material and we'll hit OK. OK. Now my wheels are all the same size as far as diameter so we're going to go draw a circle and in the diameter we'll put three inches and usually like to spread these out so we're going to I can usually get four wheels out of each little piece of wood so we're going to put one there, one there, Hopefully I can fit two more over here. No. Let's escape. We're going to move these down a little bit. Okay, there's our four wheels. The first thing we're going to do is put an axle in there. Now the axle is three-eighths of an inch exactly, so we're going to put 0.375 and go to the center. Boom. Boom, boom, boom. Okay, so we have our outer profile of the wheel. We have our center. Now we need to customize this. Now what I want to do is, we're going to just go out of that for a second. And I'm going to, we're going to, this one's all going to be straight lines. So my idea is to have a kind of a cross. That didn't work. It's way over there. Okay. We'll go ahead and move that right there. Okay, so this is kind of the shape of this cross. Now these wheels are going to be for a little truck that I'm going to make, so I thought it'd be cool to have a little different, a little different look. Now what I want to do is I want to put a circle here. Uh, let's put a. Well, it doesn't matter. We're going to resize this anyway. So let's go ahead and just put one of those right there. We'll move it up so it's touching this thing. So there's our circle. Now what we want to do is trim that, trim those little pieces off of there. Okay, that's not too bad. But what we need to do, we need to create another circle. Now what we need to do is array this around the circle. So we're going to go ahead and select that part. We're going to actually, we're going to go to right down here where you see this little circle. We're going to go ahead and hit that. Now we're going to highlight this circle and that will give us these coordinates, X and Y. Now we're going to write those down. 4.0791 for X. And then y is 7.6907. Now the key to this is to write those dimensions down. Because as soon as you highlight this, you'll see one of the dimensions changed quite a bit. Actually, what we're going to do, what we need to do is we need to group these together first. Okay, group that. So we need to highlight this one. Now you'll see that number changed, y. So we're going to change that to 7.6907. 6907. Now we're going to make four of these go right around that circle. Rotate copies, total angle, four of them, and we got the number of items, four. We got to highlight this one. 
rotate copies, four of them. There we go. Okay, perfect. It can be a little, you know, just practice with it and you'll you'll get it perfect. Now what we need to do is we're going to zoom in there. So this is our little our little cross that we have. And what we need to do is we need to get out of here. We need to trim all this out. So we're going to see if we can, how we can trim this. That one's connected. We're going to ungroup that. Okay, so we can start trimming these things. Ungroup all of these. Okay. So it's, you can't really trim them when they're grouped. So now you can see I'm able to go in here and cut all this out. Okay, there it is. Now what we want to do is we want to group that together. That way it stays the way we want. Now you can see it's bigger. Now what we want to do, we're going to be putting four of these around here. And I think because of the size of this, I'm going to use a different bit when I, when I, um, I'm going to use a smaller bit. The last wheels that I did, I used a quarter inch bit, but I think because these are going to be pretty small, I'm going to use a, an eighth inch bit. Let's see if we can get that lined up there. It's not giving me the center of that wheel. There we go. Okay. That's so now what we need to do is we need to do the same thing. We're going to highlight that one. We're going to go over to our, we need to rotate this because we need four of these around here. Now, what we need to do is we need to figure out this dimension first. So you can see that right up here it says 1.9354 and 2.75. So we're probably going to need both those. 1.9354. Okay. So we'll escape out of there. We're going to highlight this one. Now you can see one of them changed. So we're going to actually change that one, 2.75. And we're going to do four rotate copies. Now this should work if we just hit copy. Boom. Okay, perfect. All right, sometimes it works out, sometimes it doesn't. Now what we want to do is group all those. Now we're going to copy them. Right click, copy. Right click, paste. And then we can grab one and take it to the center of there. Real easy, right? Now we're going to paste it again. Take it over there. Boom. Now we're going to paste it again. And one more. It's not always super easy, but you just play around with it. I think those look pretty cool. Let me know what, what you think. Okay, so we're going to... The difference between these wheels and the other wheels is the other wheels... I used a quarter inch bit. But this time I'm going to use a... 8 inch down cut bit and it's a spiral down cut bit and I'll show you a picture of it right here but we're going to start off the first thing I do is cut these axle holes and this is three quarter inch material so let's let's go ahead and group these axle holes together right click and group and then we're going to go up here it's going to be a pocketing tool path we're going to go right through the material so what we need to it's three quarter inch material, so I put a little more so it goes right through. We're going to remove that bit and we're going to select our eighth inch bit. Now I use a tool path from a bits and bits one. Now you see this feed rate 160. I'm going to change that to 60. I don't want it going too fast. And apply, select. Okay, now we have our tool path, our cut up. We want to do three passes to go through there. Um, three passes, set passes, go ahead and hit OK. So now we got our depth up there, our passes. We'll go ahead and offset's fine. We don't need anything else. Now I usually, what I'll do in here is I'll put axle holes. 
and I'll make that in caps. Axel holes. And calculate. Yes, it will cut right through the material. So there's our holes. We'll go ahead back to the 2D view. Shut that off. Next up, we'll highlight the crosses. You always want to do all of your pockets or your holes before you try to cut out your material, because otherwise, if the material comes loose, then you can't go back and cut those crosses. So we're going to group that back together. Okay, we grouped it. So we'll highlight it. Close that. We're going to do another pocketing tool path. Now this time, we're not going to go that deep. We're going to go 0.25. And we'll do two passes. Okay, quarter inch. So we'll do an eighth inch at a time. Try to keep it where it cuts really nice and clean. Offset. Now we'll just put crosses right here. Cross pocket. Super simple. Calculate. Go ahead and do that. No toolpath for current parameters. Check cool tool can fit in there. Check tool can fit into selective vectors. Something I did is wrong there. Let's see. Two passes, quarter inch, cut depth, quarter inch. Oh, that should work. Bits and bits, eighth inch bit. Hundred twenty eight open vectors. Okay. Let's go back to the drawing board. Something I did wrong with these. So let's ungroup them. Go to node edit mode. Okay, let's take a look at what's going on here. So these should be ungrouped. Yep. Join. Ah, what's going on there? Okay, I'm going to have to join all these together. Okay. And what we're going to have to do, see how sometimes sometimes it works out and sometimes it doesn't. So now I have to go back. This one is perfect. I need to redo all these. And that happens sometimes. You just you have to kind of be patient. Like I didn't I didn't draw the first cross properly. I didn't join the vectors together. And that's what happened. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to erase all these. Now what I'm going to do is put that hole, that 3 8 hole back in there. There's my axle. Okay, now that's one item right there. So we can go ahead, we can highlight that. We're going to do the same thing over here. So Basically, what we need to do is look at this number. That's 2.75 right there. Now we're going to exit out of there. We'll select our object. We'll change this number to 2.75. And boom. There's our crosses. Now, can we group those together? Yes. Okay. Now what we need to do is copy this whole thing. Copy paste. And we're basically going to bring these down, paste again, bring these down. You know, sometimes people, you know, I like to show, you know, if you do have a little bit of struggle on something, show it because it helps the next guy know that he's not, um, he's not completely crazy. Anyway, let's go to the tool path now. If we highlight that, now we're going to highlight each one and then group them all together this time. Now let's see if we let's see if we're in our business. So we got our toolpath still here. Pocket toolpath, two passes. Got the name cross pocket. Let's see if it works this time. Boom. All right. 
So we got the axle holes and the cross pocket. Now what we need to do is go back to the 2D view. We'll shut that off. We're going to highlight the circles. And we're going to group all those together. And we go up here to Profile Toolpath. We're going to, that's going to cut through. We need to edit these passes. Give three passes. Now this time we're going to add tabs. So we click Add Tabs. Click the Edit. And you can either put them in yourself or you can just click. Now I'm going to put them in myself because I want to. I want to be able to use my bands on and just run through here and cut these out real easy. Okay, so the tabs are in. Let's check everything. Cutting depth 0.78. The tool. Oh, it's got the wrong tool in there. Edit that. We got to put that eighth inch tool in there. Cancel. Select. I don't know why I put that one in there. Bits and bits. Select. Actually, let's edit that bit. Okay, it still shows. You always want to check your feed rate. You don't want to be going too fast when you're doing little small things like that. Okay, tabs are in. Outside. Um, we want to do more than two passes. We need three passes. Set that pass. Okay, so that's tool depth. I've learned to take my time a little bit on the tool pass um, wheel profile. And because I have made, I've made a lot of mistakes and basically you kind of learn from your mistakes. All right, let's preview all the tool paths. There's the axle holes, the crosses. So there's our custom wheels with crosses. Um, I think that looks pretty cool. Let me know what you think in the comments. All right, let's go over the machine, cut these out. And there you go, how to make custom wheels for your little toys. Anyway, yeah, this is the one we just made with the crosses. And um, yeah, it came out pretty good. I ended up putting it on a little Volkswagen style body. And here's the slotted ones that I made before. And then here's the quick shooter ones, or the six shooter ones. Anyway, uh, yeah, let's do a little poll. Let me know which one of these you like, the slot, the six shooter for the crosses and it'll be interesting to see which ones which one gets the highest ranking 
anyway, have a very, very nice holidays. Thanksgiving's coming up this week. And um, I have a lot to be thankful for. And yeah, and I enjoy, um, it's fun to make these little toys and ship them off to little kids. I just shipped off a couple of these planes this morning. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. I appreciate all of you. Please subscribe, like the video, and I will see you next time. Later. Thank you.